y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of brit if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today we're doing a busy busy weekend vlog i have a lot going on this weekend between running errands hair appointments i have to pull some stuff together for my sister's baby shower on saturday today is thursday march 3rd by the way um yeah it's thursday so i'm kicking off the weekend vlog today we're gonna vlog through the weekend i ordered some stuff for my sister's baby shower because she's doing like a mint or like a sage green nudes creams anything but blue like literally when i was talking to her about what she wanted for her shower she was saying anything but blue this is her third baby third boy so she was like no blue ariella told me what the color scheme was and i knew i didn't have any like mint or sage green sprinkles or like food decor in my own event planning stash couldn't find it in the store when in party city and walmart and they didn't have it so i ordered some stuff off amazon that came in last night so i'll show y'all that stuff but i need to go to Publix to get the actual groceries for her treats um rice crispy treats pretzels i'm trying to make cake pops but we'll see if that happens in this vlog because last time i tried to make cake pops my little cake pop maker was tripping so if i can get it to work we'll have cake pops i'll get some stuff to mix up a cake batter um i think i said pretzels chocolate chips i'm gonna get white chocolate chips um and just add some green food coloring to make like the sage green but i'm gonna go get the actual groceries today i'm gonna start making the treats tomorrow on friday then her shower is saturday it's very intimate very small a virtual baby shower so a lot of the people that are attending are attending via zoom so they'll be watching her from different cities different states um via like the laptop or whatever and then in her actual home it's probably like 10 to 12 of us she said she's planning for finger foods games and stuff like that um and then her friends are going to set up little decor so the people online will have something to look at and i'm bringing treats for the people that are actually be there I didn't came out to the living room and sat on the couch to start the vlog as if I'm ready to walk out the door. Normally, if I start a vlog and I'm sitting on the couch, I'm about to walk out to do something. I'm sitting out there talking to y'all and still got on pajamas where I'm going. So let me put on some clothes. I'm just going to throw anything on, literally. Excuse my hair, my nails in this vlog. This week is a breather week. I'm letting my hair breathe. I'm going to do my hair probably Sunday or Monday. Most likely Monday because Monday I don't have any clients booked. So I'm going to do my hair <laughs> in about four or five days, y'all. My nails, I just popped them off yesterday. I had that set for about a month. Tan did those nails like a week before my photo shoot at the beginning of February. And it's March 4th, so March 3rd. Tomorrow's the 4th. So I'm going to let my nails breathe for a week. Probably won't get them done until Wednesday of next week. Y'all let me live in this vlog. We working, okay? That's all I want to say. Let's go to the store. Let's start the vlog. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm going to get two packs of these Ghirardelli white melting wafers. I just need white, y'all. They have this 40 bar pack of Rice Krispie Treats. I'm going to get them already made. Um, Because I'm on the time limit this week, y'all. Between here and this baby shower. I'm not going to have time to make them from scratch. They do have these eight packs. I could get two boxes of those and that'll be 16. I'm only making 15. That's six dollars versus the 40 pack for 10.69. But whatever's left, me and Cheryl can have for the house. I'm gonna get a pack of these Snyder rods. Once I got home from Publix, my auntie met me at my apartment for her hair appointment and she surprised me with this cute little canvas. It was so thoughtful, y'all. She went and got my logo offline and painted it on a canvas for me to hang up in my salon space. So that's exactly what I did as soon as I got it. And then we started on her hair appointment. This is some Zuri hair. She pre-washed the hair, so I'm not able to show y'all. I'll have to find a screenshot of the packaging so y'all can see because I stand Zuri hair. It's the best Marley hair, hands down. We normally do twist in her hair with this hair, but she decided to get box braids with Marley hair. And at first, I was reluctant about it, but Zuri hair is the GOAT. And it was really soft for me to braid through. Um, the box braids weren't as sleek as they would be, obviously, if you use pre-stretched hair. But it matched her hair texture perfectly. I know it's going to last a long time. It's going to style really well when it's time to form her buns and everything. So I enjoyed doing box braids for the first time with Marley hair. It wasn't bad at all. It was 
now the next morning. I finished my aunt's hair last night. I think I showed y'all how that turned out. And now it is Friday morning, the day before the baby shower. And I'm just looking over what I have. Yesterday, I took y'all in Publix with me and showed y'all the stuff I needed, the last minute stuff I needed to get out of Publix. But this is the stuff I already had. I have this little styrofoam. This is supposed to be for the cake pops because normally when I take them out of my little cake pop, cake pop maker i stick them in some type of styrofoam or like some type of stand so that they can um set before i put the icing and stuff on but i'm not gonna need these this time around i'll save them for when my new oven comes in but i got this 24 pack of 14 karat gold little blingy sticks that i'm gonna put the rice crispy treats on and they come with these little tie things but i'm gonna probably wrap them with the ribbon just to add a little extra razzle dazzle they already have the little clear bags to put the right to cover the rice crispy treats with so there's that i got these off of amazon i don't remember how much they were but i'll link them down below and i also got these these were for the cake pops of course you see on the front um and then i have little boxes to put everything in when i'm done um and i have her sage green and gold sprinkles i told y'all she's trying to stay away from traditional blue so i ended up finding some mint green and some gold sprinkles. I have my little workstation set up. I have my boxes in the back where I'll be putting everything in when I'm done. The Ghirardelli chocolate melts that I showed y'all earlier in the vlog that I got from Publix. I took out the last bit of green food coloring I had in my stash because Publix was out and I wasn't going to any more stores. But that's just enough because I'm going to dip half of the treats in white and half of the treats in like a sage green. And in order to make this green with so much white, I only need a drop of the hunter green food coloring so that's enough i got all of my green sprinkles i showed y'all i ordered that stuff off amazon i had some white sprinkles in my stash and then when that runs out i have a little refill pack the little sticks i told y'all about so freaking cute gloves for my hands so i'm not touching all other people's stuff then i have a bunch of like extra bags i have these holographic bags i got from walmart no five below in addition to these basic ones I probably got from Party City, but I'm really not going to need these because the Rice Krispie Treat sticks came with bags and twisties, and I have a bunch of like pretzel bags to go to put the pretzels in. So this was just extra stuff I pulled out just in case, but I'm not really going to need it because I'm only making 15 of each. So I took out 15 of the sticks and put the rest of them in my event planning stash, and then went ahead and counted out 15 Rice Krispie Treats that I'm about to unpackage and put on the sticks. I'm gonna count out 15 pretzels and everything will be straight to go, y'all. Like, it really don't seem like I have enough chocolate or enough stuff, but I'm only making 30 treats. Normally I would have a spread much larger than this, but just keep in mind it's only 30 treats, 15 of each thing. So this should be fairly easy. I do have a client in about two hours. So I'm probably only gonna do, I'm only gonna do the pretzels today. And then probably either later tonight or early tomorrow morning before the shower, I'll get up and do the Rice Krispie Treats. I really want to take my time with those. So yeah, let's get started. I have about half of the pretzels done, the green ones basically. I gotta melt the white chocolate and do the cream and gold ones. As far as the Rice Krispie Treats, I'm gonna do those tomorrow. I had to melt chocolate and stick the sticks into the Rice Krispie Treats. If you can see, it's a little chocolate around the rim. I melted, melted some sage green chocolate and stuck those in there. So that needs to dry because I don't want the sticks to be wobbly when I start decorating them. I tried to do a couple of green ones over here and the sticks were moving around too much, so I'm going to probably just let these cool until tomorrow morning and then just finish my pretzels today. But they're looking pretty good. I definitely love the colors. Great option, Ari. Real cute idea. <laughs> So I'm in the car now heading to my client. Um, he's a college student at Georgia State. So I'm headed downtown 
um normally when i have a college student i travel to them if they don't have a car because i know what funds be like in college it'd be scarce <laughs> and driving 30 minutes out here to me and back and paying for hair and your appointment it can be a lot spring break season is coming up um in a week a lot of the college students will be going on a spring break trip so this weekend i kind of have a few of a few appointments starting off those spring break sleighs so yeah i'm about to go do his hair i've been doing his hair for about two and a half years he normally gets like twists or feed-ins but today we're doing knotless so oh shoot i knew i was forgetting something i didn't forgot my braiding rack at home dang uh do i want to go back home no i don't but yeah i went ahead and got the pretzels completed first and then either late tonight depending on how i feel when i leave my friend justice house because i'm going to visit her after i leave this hair appointment i haven't seen her in ages and i want to catch up with my friends so when i leave campus i'm going to her house depending on how i feel i'll do the rice krispies tonight if not i'll get up early in the morning and do them my, my sister's baby shower isn't until 1 p.m i want to say so if i get up about eight or nine it takes me about an hour to do them i can have them done by 10 they can set while i'm getting ready doing my hair and putting on my clothes and stuff and then um we can head out tomorrow it's no big deal i knew it was gonna be treats hair play mixing everything in between with everything going on this weekend so yeah y'all will see how everything turns out either later tonight or in the morning when it comes to the treats about to head to campus um do ryan's hair i may or may not vlog that i done forgot my braiding rack so it's gonna be chaos in this dorm in a minute and that's what i get for trying to do too many things today <sighs> but yeah yeah i'm about to head to campus to do ryan hair and i probably won't pick the vlog back up until maybe i'm finishing his hair or i'm heading to my friend justy's house so we'll see but that's what's going on this traffic gonna have me late what is going on like seriously it's 12 30 where could all these people be going? I wish I could see way ahead of me. I'm in full-blown rush hour traffic at 12.30 in the afternoon. finished up Ryan's hair. Well, I still got to dip him. We're waiting for the water to boil. And in the meantime, he ran downstairs because he got an email saying he had a package. So, just chilling, waiting on him to come. Right now, y'all, these naked pina coladas got me in a chokehold. Around Christmas time, I was grocery shopping and ran into these. And I've been stuck on them for the past three months now. Um, They ran out of the big bottles. The Publix by me been sold out. But I've been grabbing the smaller bottles, which is a ripoff because these are like $2.99 or $3.99 for the smaller one. The big, big bottle that you can just put in your fridge and pour glasses of it, it's like $7 or $8. But they get me through my appointments. And in between meals, they are really refreshing. So definitely check out the Naked Drinks, but the Pina Colada in particular, okay? I like the green machine, but y'all, the Pina Colada, it hits, so... I've been sipping on this his whole appointment. I'm starving. But I told y'all when I leave here, I'm headed to my friend Justice's house. We decided to just do movie night. She's going to order some pizza. I need to text her right now, by the way, and tell her. Because I told her, as I'm on the way, the pizza need to be on the way. When I pull up, I need to eat. I'm not eating anything all day. They made them pretzels. Um, did his hair and it is now 645 and I haven't had a full meal today so I'm gonna mess that pizza up we're gonna smoke some hookah I need to stop by Publix or whatever grocery store is open downtown before I hit the highway I'm gonna stop and get like some little wine coolers or something we can sip on she said she got wine but I'm gonna still add to the madness like I say, pizza, movies, catching up. I'm going to just catch a vibe at Justice House for a couple hours. It's long overdue. Then we'll get to the Rice Krispie Treats. They'll be fresh. If I do them in the morning, they'll be super fresh. The pretzels are in the fridge now. So 
it's still a productive day. Even though I didn't finish all the treats today like I would have wanted to, it still has been a productive day. My mama talking about I'm lit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with Charlie. I was just in Publix yesterday, but I'm back in Publix. I'm thinking about getting about this little um, four-pack of Capriccio. Y'all know one or two of these are equivalent to about four or five shots. They're pretty strong. You get four for $13.99 because I really wanted these little Chi-Chi drinks. I think I've showed these to you in vlogs before. But they don't have any good flavors. They have regular lime. Like the traditional margaritas, original, um, pina colada, which when I tried it, I really didn't like it, and then um, Long Island, which is a little too strong for me. These are good if you really like Long Islands, but mm -mm, they don't have the peach, the pineapple, or the strawberry. So I guess I just grabbed the Capriccio's. And then I'm going to grab me and just these, um, like a couple packs of my favorite candies. And then I'll head to her house. Made it to my friend's house and we watched a few episodes of Shonda Rhimes' new series on Netflix, Inventing Anna. Then I acted like a black person off the hookah food and wine and dozed off on her couch. I got caught up in the packaging phase and forgot to come back and show y'all how everything turned out. But I'm about to get dressed and head out. This is everything. I gotta put the rest of the Rice Krispies in this box. But yeah, I love these little boxes. You get three in a pack for like $7 from Walmart. Any event planners watching, these are really cute. They'll fit about 10 Rice Krispies in one and about 50 pretzels. This is 30 right here, but I could have easily stuck in about 20 more. There's plenty of room in there, but yeah. This is everything, y'all. I went with cream, sage, and gold, and it's giving. pre-pregnancy weight next question how many poops does a newborn have what are Ari's cravings red is chocolate fruit and candy blue is fried chicken and macaroni and cheese pickle does french fries Brittany's in first place now next to Anna and then Kayla and Nick is right behind them okay well y'all are doing pretty well. I should have made this a little harder. Well, I'm gonna come or maybe they me. just know you well. I agree. Mm -hmm. definitely I'm going with your village no chip. <laughs> True or false? Pregnancy is 10 months. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't even show. I wish you could see. Well, I don't know who said false, but pregnancy right. technically is 40 weeks. Some people yep. do deliver earlier than that, but in most cases, there's the baby. All right, this first gift is from his auntie, oh, Anna, no, it's okay. and we got wash and shampoo. I got some nipple cream. I got a baby health care kit. For the baby. I love baby swaddles. Which I love. I'm used to having to just swaddle with receiving blankets. A tribe called Quest. Tupac Lauren Hill is in here. Nice tribal print, which I love. And purple is my favorite color, so can definitely make that. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm about to leave my sister's house. I was just in the bathroom and I passed by this picture and I am dying. I think I was in the eighth grade, y'all, when I took this picture. So, what is this? Who's having the baby? That's my sister, Tan, and then me. Look how it used to be back in the day, early 2000s. Why they put us in our own hands like that? <laughs> These are my sisters on my daddy's side, y'all. Me and her have the same dad, and then our dad is married to her mom. So she's technically our stepsister, but y'all get it. Hey y'all, so I'm in the car now leaving my sister's baby shower and it was so much fun. It was a hit. I didn't really know what to expect from a virtual baby shower. I'm like, how is everybody going to interact? But Aria hosted that thing. Like, she had everything planned, the games. Everybody was able to submit their answers. Like, instead of people shouting out online, shouting out in person, she had some type of app called Kahoot. Maybe if y'all work in a corporate setting, y'all may know about it because Aria found about it found out about it through her job. It was different games like that. We played one game where you were supposed to name that tune and people on Zoom were very interactive. The people in Ariel's home were very inter very interactive. So it was just a lot, a lot of fun. The food was really good. Everybody was really nice. I'm excited now just to meet baby boy. Um, I'm having another nephew by the end of the spring. I should have another nephew here. So I'm super excited for that. And yeah, yeah, I'm about to head home and get some rest. Y'all know I was up early trying to pull the treats together. And I got over there early. I didn't vlog that. But I curled Ariel's hair before we got on camera. So it's time to relax. But it was a great day. I'll probably vlog a little bit more tomorrow. Actually, before I go home, I need to stop by the hair store. Because I'm doing some starter locks tomorrow. One of my clients. Well, I have a new client coming tomorrow who found me on Instagram. And she wants me to start her dress and the particular product I use for starter locks, I'm out of it. So I need to run by the hair store real quick and grab that. I might vlog that for y'all. Um, and then I'll do her starter locks in the morning and show y'all my comb method, how I start dress. And we'll probably close the vlog from there. It's really just, this vlog was just a mesh of y'all just seeing how a weekend goes from here. How my weekends are about to go now that events are involved with the hair stuff. We picking back up with all of that so i'm excited but tired nonetheless so <laughs> i'll see y'all in a little bit when we get to the hair store hey how you doing you good <laughs> you happy to see me <laughs> Ooh, this is a cute dyeing set for hair coloring these tint brushes are really cute too okay I don't come to the hair store by my house like that no more, but they coming up. Get down. I do my starter locks with the comb method, and I'm looking for like a really small, like, this is still too big. I got a really tiny one at home, but I'm not sure if I can locate it, and I need to make sure. Dang, will this work? It's almost as small as an edge comb, which you would use to do your edges. I was just bragging on them, but it does not look like they might, they have what I need. And I ain't going to none other store, so I might have to just get an edge comb from the front. Oh, this store even then added these little um, combs I showed y'all in the last vlog. The hair store by my house has them now. So I ain't got to travel miles and miles for the good stuff. This store coming up. I'm on this aisle trying to find the locking gel that I use. And why ain't nobody tell me Cantu got these new styling gels? Avocado, shea butter with honey, Jamaican black castor oil, flaxseed with olive, and grapeseed oil. This is for strengthening your hair. They also have flaxseed. Come on, Cantu. Yeah, I usually use Talia YG products, but this store is sold out. I just realized that the black castor oil braid twist that I use, I showed y'all this braid and wax in a lot of vlogs. Um, they also have a twist and lock smoothie that I could use to start her starter locks. Only thing is, I've never used this before. I don't know the consistency, how long she's going to have to be under the dryer. Like, I have to stick to products I know, so I think I'm going to just go with another brand I'm familiar with. But if y'all are interested in trying, African Pride also has a lock and twist smoothie if y'all do starter locks. Um, that I also suggested the braid um, jam from so they have a whole line of stuff 
but when all else fails and I can't find Talia YG, which oh, I may have to order some stuff, but when all else fails, I use this mango and lime Rasta Jamaican lock twist. These um this line of products, so I'm gonna just go with this for today. Probably go with the small container because I don't do starter locks that often, and I don't know the shelf life of this stuff, so. I'm gonna just get a small locking gel and some hairspray. I'm gonna show y'all a quick haul because I know once I go upstairs, it's shower time. I'm gonna lay down. I might show y'all that Talia YG real quick, but after that, it's time to shower and lay down. But I got these two combs because at first I didn't think I was gonna be able to find this one. This is what I do my starter locks with. If I have an old video, I'll put it on the screen so y'all can see my method. But I start my locks with the, uh, the comb twisting method. But I picked these up as well. They were two for 99 cents. Couldn't pass them up. Pink and purple, really cute. Got a black starter lock comb. I got the lock and gel by Mango and Lime, Jamaican Mango and Lime. This is the consistency of it. It's a real deal gel. Um, after I do the starter locks, I put them under the dryer for about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, depending on how their hair soaks up the product. And then I got this lock and set styling, um, lotion. It's a lot, they say lotion, but this is definitely a spray. I was about to say, I know this ain't no lotion, but you spray this on, like I'll twist their hair. I'll twist her hair tomorrow, put her under the dryer, and then when she comes out, I'll set it with this setting spray. Kind of like how when I'm finished with braids, I do like a mousse or an oil sheen. This is a setting spray. Probably put her under the dryer for like 10 more minutes and send her on her way. Y'all will see all of that tomorrow, but this is my little goodie bag from the hair store. It's not a braid or working vlog without some type of hair store run. I know I took y'all to Publix, but that's what we got from the hair store today. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, this is the stuff I was telling y'all about in the store that I like to use for starter locks by Talia Wajid. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, Black Earth Products, the tight hold is what I would use when I was doing starter locks more frequently. But at the bottom it says defines natural curls, starts and holds locks, firm hold, no flaking with rosemary and nettle, the goat for starter locks. But I only had a corner left. And that store that I was in didn't have any more. I'm tired, y'all, so I didn't feel like going anywhere else. But I also had a lock and cream wax by Mango and Lime Company. But we we'll restocked on the gel. And I showed y'all the spray and stuff. I'm going to put all of that away. I also have a big tub of this lock and twist gel. I think I showed y'all their line of products in the store. These are all really good products to use. If you're a new braider that's looking to add lock services to your list of services i'm gonna spray these down and let them sit in some disinfectant solution overnight and we'll be ready for in the morning hey y'all so it is now sunday afternoon it's about 12 30 i was supposed to do here at 11 i told you i had a client coming this morning i only had one client booked today i was i was trying to take it easy i don't know if i mentioned in this vlog or not that spring break season has started or is about to start for a lot of the colleges here in Atlanta so I've been booked and will be booked um so today I just had that one starter lock appointment normally depending on the length um like how long their natural hair is when starting their locks how thick it is and how long it takes for their hair to dry with product going in and out of the dryer a couple of times it normally could take me anywhere from two to three hours to do start a lot so i was supposed to start at 11 and be done no later than two today but clearly she's not here she canceled um and my first initial like in the back of my mind i want to complain but i really can't um honestly just because i went to the store and made those purchases yesterday when i don't need the stuff but eventually i will use it not mad at my client at all I'm not tripping on her at all because she has a very valid reason for not for not being here right now um she had a death in the family and i know i would be looking stupid if one of my siblings was to pass unexpectedly i would be sick definitely wouldn't be worried about my hair but i definitely wanted to get on camera today instead of just ending the vlog abruptly and there's times like this that i want to show new braiders where um you can't count the money before it's in your hands because it doesn't always work out that way so i'm chilling today i'm gonna keep my client in my prayers and just pour some wine and enjoy my sunday the reunion for love is blind came out friday i want to believe and i want to say it and i haven't seen it yet so i'm just gonna watch that probably take some meat out and chill cook and chill so 
that's my vlog for today i'm gonna try to get this vlog up now that i'm not doing hair i'm gonna spend that time to edit this vlog and get it up sorry somebody called me but let march be that month to get things done if you haven't started already um putting things in motion for the new year and that's all i'm gonna say i'll see y'all today hopefully i'll see y'all wednesday hopefully um yeah and until next time love y'all bye <laughs>